Hello students. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about CUET PG exam. Especially, we are going to discuss the syllabus of Home Science. How you will be able to secure good mark, get a good rank in your exam. So before that, let me tell about a few things about CUET and how changes have come in this particular year. If you take CUET, there are two types of exams. The Common University Entrance Test that happens as UG courses also happens for PG courses also. The one that we are going to discuss today it is about CUET PG. The CUET PG for the year 2024, the exam dates have already been announced. It is going to happen from 11th of March till 28th of March, and the applications are open from 26th of December 2023, and the applications are going to close close by 24th of January 2024. And there has been a few changes which has happened in this exam compared to the last year. So let me explain those things also to you. Okay, so in 2023 exam of CUET PG, if you check. There is, uh, there were hundred questions in total. Okay, so let me write it and show you. So out of the total hundred questions, okay, actually there were two parts. So there was part A and there was part B. So in part A, if you check, there were twenty five questions, which was like general, whereas the remaining seventy five questions, it was subject specific. So if you are going to write in home science, it is going to be on home science. If you are going to write in agricultural sciences, it is agricultural sciences based questions. The seventy five of them. And each question, for every correct question, you will get plus four marks. For every uh, wrong answer that you give, you will get minus one. So basically, there is negative marking. And if you don't attempt a question, you don't get any marks. So out of so, if there is total hundred question, and for every question there is four marks at all, then then there is exam was happening for four hundred marks. And timing was two hours. You are given one twenty minutes, which is nothing but two hours. This is how the exam happened last time. But this time in PG in CGVT PG 2024, the exam pattern is going to be like there are only 75 questions. Part A is completely removed. There is no general question now. Only subject based questions will be included in this 75. And the marking scheme is similar: plus four marks for correct answer, minus one mark for negative answers, and there is no mark for your uh, if you don't attempt a question. So the total number, if you see, the exam is going to happen for 300 marks. And the timing has also been reduced to one hundred and five minutes. Okay, so you have to finish the exam in one hundred and five minutes. Okay, there is no part A this time. And as usual, the exam is going to happen in two languages, English and Hindi. And uh, if any mistake happens in the translation or something, English version is taken to be the final one. And coming back to home science, how you can cover the syllabus and you know how you'll be able to score better marks, which topics you have to focus, those things and all. If you see. Before that, the code the code for home science subject is HQP eleven. Okay, so that is the code for home science. And coming to the home science, of course, first always in all the syllabus, if you see, food science takes the you know prime spot. So here also, food science they have included as the first one. And under food science, in general, you have to focus on a few important things. Like if you see, uh, the methods of cooking. Okay, the methods of cooking and each ingredient, uh, which is used in cooking. What is the activity it does? Like say for example, if you take eggs, eggs can work as an emulsifier also. It can work as a clarifying agent also. Like this, every ingredient will have its own function, right? So those things they usually ask. And when coming to different methods of cookery, different methods of cookery, they can ask in this particular food item what method of cooking is used, what is the temperature, and they can ask you about sugar cookery, different temperatures of sugar cookery, stages of sugar cookery. Those things they can ask. These all these things, I guess, it's very uh, commonly studied, and it's there in your BSc syllabus also. And food adulteration, of course. So, what are the different food ingredients, and what is the adulterant which is used in all of those ingredients? And FSI ka, FSI FSI ka, you have to check what is the easy method, homemade methods that you can use to check for adulteration. That points you have to study. Then one extra thing is that they have included about biochemistry part here. So you at least the basics you have to study about uh, biochemistry, especially, uh, for example, types of carbohydrates and uh, examples for different types of carbohydrates, uh, polar and non-polar amino acids, like these topics, essential, non-essential. So these are very basic biochemistry, right? So from those types of questions, they could be asked. And then very very important thing when it comes to uh, food science, actually it would have it should have been given as a separate unit as nutrition and dietetics. But then they have included it under food science only, but it's okay. So you have to know about various deficiency diseases. Like uh, if what particular vitamin is there, like vitamin C is there, then what is a deficiency disease? What are the symptoms of that deficiency disease? Those things you have to study. 
and if you see the physiology of human body they have included it under nutrition also and there is a separate unit also which is given for physiology alone if you go in the syllabus na if you go below you can see a separate unit itself which is given on human physiology but interestingly the topics that they have included under human physiology it is actually related to public health nutrition if you see the topics properly so they have asked about morbidity mortality rate growth and development of children and uh, then you know uh, how parents are adjusting uh, about mental health and everything so this is kind of related to public health and human development in general human development it cannot be fully classified under human physiology but since human physiology is included under your first topic also and here also they can ask you questions related to the basics of human physiology uh, in the sense humans uh, basic physiology in the sense like uh, what are the important bones in the body what is the function of each organ system what is the enzyme which is secreted by each organ system uh, then you can see the sequence of organs if you take alimentary canal or gastrointestinal tract uska sequence hota hai na it's like from the starting to the end what is the sequence these types of questions could be asked when it comes to physiology of human body very in depth questions you cannot expect to be true and then related to human energy also like the different types of human energy what is bmr what is rmr what are the components of bmr like bmr ka there are three components right uh, we have this uh, basal metabolic rate and then we have uh, the thermogenesis food thermogenesis and also physical energy related energy expenditure so like this multiple parts are also included under your daily energy expenditure so those parts could also be asked and then they can ask you about therapeutic diets like therapeutic diets in the sense they can ask you for a diabetic patient how much carbohydrates you can give it should it should be less or it should be more whether it should be simple or complex these kinds of bsc ug level questions will you can expect from these topics coming to home uh, coming to your home management this is basically a part of resource management so in this they can ask you about the different uh, techniques which you use for resource management and then the different types of resources this resources can be home based family based resources also they can ask about energy resources also at times since of course we use energy at home also right so those things could be asked and they can ask about work simplification techniques and different methods that we use for uh, work simplification and they can ask you about uh, electrical equipments electronic equipments like this and what are the different uh, uh, color schemes color schemes definitely could be asked under your interior and exterior decoration of the house so color schemes you have to study and then general housing standards like how uh, the wall height should be how uh, tall the ceiling should be which kinds of paints should not be used so like this very basic kind of things they can ask you about consumer uh, consumer act which year consumer act came and uh, when is consumer uh, consumer rights day celebrated like this very very basic kind of details you can expect from this then coming to textiles since textiles is a separate unit like textile design is a separate syllabus under your uh, cuet pg only the basics they have included under home science like whereas the different uh, history historical costumes of india they have asked about uh, selecting fabrics for different purpose like uh, fabrics are to use for multiple purposes like there is winter clothing summer clothing technical clothing sustainable clothing like that varieties are there so related to that they can ask you classification of textile fibers like natural fiber synthetic fiber protein fiber like the multiplication multiple uh, varieties are there na so related to that they can ask you and what is the chemistry meaning what is the composition what are the monomers which are present in synthetic fibers like that they can ask you question so this part is there right fabric construction and the finishes this is also important because in this they can ask you terms related questions like uh, they can expand mercerization and they can ask you dash 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 is related to mercerization like that they can ask you different finishes that we use for our fabrics and then different dyes what is the uh, different uh, classifications of dyes and the distinguish between the different types of dyes and the laundering process ka sequence like this they can ask you things now coming to your human physiology as i told you basics of human physiology to you have to study different organ systems organ system ka functions and organ system ka parts kya kya hai and then sequence what is a from a starting to end what is the sequence of the organ system cells kya kya hote hain for example if you take liver cells liver cells ka naam kya hai what is the name of the liver cells it is hepatocytes if you take kidney cells they are called as nephrons brain cells or neurons like that very very basic things and then they will can ask you about personal hygiene grooming standards etc 
and then they can ask you what is the infant mortality rate maternal mortality rate neonatal mortality rate like this things they can ask you later to this particular topic morbidity and mortality these all are health indicators okay and then they can ask you the different stages of uh, development children development like adolescent stage ka kya kya differences hai and then what is the difference between an adolescent person and a youth what is the category there is classification right age wise classification is there na so related to that they can ask you and then uh, different types of marriages how adopted children adjust with their family actually this is one part if you can uh, answer based on common sense you will mostly get the questions correct okay but under this one thing you may have to study are the different acts like hindu marriage act in which year it came anand marriage act in which year it came in recently if you see in jammu and kashmir they have accepted the uh, sikh marriages under you know anand marriage act so like this things can come under this part actually they have given a few mistakes are there in the syllabus to be true in the segregation but then we can't think about that now right we just have to focus on getting the maximum possible marks and getting the best university that you want to do your pg next coming to your extension education in extension education three different things are important one thing is the different programs okay so for example if you take um, uh, this uh, etawa project or if you take uh, uh, maybe uh, spencer if you take um, martandam project which was given by spencer like this different programs which happened before and after independence you have to na- know the name of the program in which year the program came and the person who developed that program okay so that thing you have to study that can be asked as a direct question that is number one that you have to study in extension education second one is the audio visual aids this is actually should have been included under communication but it's fine because in audio visual aids there are many classifications and bina audio visual aids ka hum teaching properly kar nahi sakte hai, right so we have to study about audio visual aids and mainly examples what are 2d aids 3d aids what is specifically audio aids are there specifically visual aids are there combined aids are there so like that okay so that is the third second thing third thing is the other programs like uh, the ones which came recently uh, if you see the programs such as uh, um you can take which program you can take uh, janani suraksha yojana and then you can think about uh, what else you can see about the rural development scheme mandrega the things which came after you know after 1980s after 1990s especially those related to rural people related to women related to children and society at large so these things you may have to study so these three things will play a major role when it comes to extension education the very good point about extension education is that it's very easy to finish extension education it's not very vast or anything and then in adult education if you see you have to study about panchayat raj system and then you have to study about different literacy programs that came in india especially adult literacy programs this happened in between uh, 1955 to 1970s uh, till so during that period there had been a lot of programs which came to improve the literacy rate of indian people so those related questions can come under your adult education so it is quite easy to be true in to score good marks in home science if you study very important topics from all of these now it is very easy to score marks so that is what i'm trying to say in cut pg home science syllabus there is no much nothing much to be true included and it's quite easy to cover uh, if uh, out of the 75 questions if you cover at least 80% of the syllabus easily you can get 60 questions right and you have to be very careful to not attempt the questions that you don't know correctly do not do inky pinky ponky because there is negative marking even if you do give answers correctly because you did something by mistake negative mark can reduce your rank so be very careful when you study that all the very best for all the students who are preparing for cvt pg 2024 and if you have any queries related to this particular uh, syllabus or related to the exam you can comment in the video you can comment in the comment box below we will get back to you as soon as possible all the very best